Santa Monica has had many different piers since its founding, but there are two that have really stood out in its history. The Santa Monica Pier and the Ocean Park Pier, which housed Pacific Ocean Park. Constructed just off of Pier Avenue in the Ocean Park District of Santa Monica in 1898, the Pier Avenue Wharf eventually became the site of the amusement pier Pacific Ocean Park, or POP. POP opened to the public in 1958 and was intended to compete with Disneyland. At the time, Disneyland required visitors to pay per ride. POP had one admission price and the term pay one price became another meaning for the POP acronym. The entrance of POP had a futuristic design with arches and three giant seahorses on a pole directly above. The seahorse in this gallery is one of those three seahorses constructed of fiberglass and made by a local artist. POP had many amazing features including a roller coaster, amusement games, bumper cars, a sky ride, a ballroom, and so much more. Unfortunately, POP could not keep up with Disneyland and closed 10 years later in 1967. After it closed, POP fell into disrepair and Ocean Park Pier was finally demolished in the mid-1970s. If you look at the gallery close enough, you can find an original piece of the pier itself with an engraving memorializing its life. The Santa Monica Pier was originally opened in 1909 as a municipal pier that served the purpose of hiding sewage lines that took waste further away from the shores of Santa Monica. A second portion of the pier was constructed in 1916 and was spearheaded by Charles Loof, who was well known for carving carousel horses for Coney Island in New York. Santa Monica's new Pleasure Pier was shorter and wider than the Municipal Pier and was later known as the Newcomb Pier. The new Pleasure Pier enticed visitors from across the nation with a ballroom, roller coaster, and other forms of amusement. The Santa Monica Pier went through many changes in its lifetime, including a reconstruction due to the extreme damage caused by back-to-back -back storms in 1983. The Ferris Wheel has been a longtime staple of the Santa Monica Pier. The Pacific Wheel sign seen in the gallery was on the Ferris wheel from 1996 to 2008 until it was replaced with solar-powered neon lights. The Santa Monica Pier continues to attract hundreds of thousands of people each year and remains a source of pride for Santa Monica residents. Thank you for joining us on this narrated tour. To learn more about these and other programs, visit our website at santamonicahistory.org. If you'd like to support the work we do and ensure quality programming exists for future generations, please consider making a tax-deductible donation to the Santa Monica History Museum today. Thank you.